This smart was produced before the 18th of April 2011. That means it doesn't have a starter generator with a new standard bearing. With bearing damage, you don't need to replace the entire starter generator. You can use the following repair method. First, check the poly V-belt for wear. If the edge is afraid, this is an indication that the bearing of the starter generator has too much play. Be sure to replace the poly V-belt. Loosen the screw holding the tensioner and remove the belt. Lower the lift so you get access to the starter generator from above. Open the tailgate and remove the cover behind it. Check if the starter generator has play. If that's the case, then you have to replace the bearing. Before you begin with the removal, disconnect the ground wire from the battery. Follow the work instructions for removing the starter generator. Start by lowering the rear drive module. Disconnect the electric plugs on the starter generator. Then loosen the nut on the bolt and remove the three-phase cable. After you've undone the screw, you can take out the starter generator. Also remove the bushings from the timing case. For the removal of the guide bearing, make an extractor according to the work instructions. Use an internal extractor, an extractor tool and an impact extractor. Insert the internal extractor behind the outer guide bearing and tighten it. Then remove the outer guide bearing from the timing case using the extracting device. Use a pin punch to help you to remove the rear guide bearing from the timing case. Place the starter generator in a vise with protective jaws and then remove the belt tensioner. Then tighten the starter generator in the vise so you can work on the threaded insert. Place a screw into the threaded insert according to the work instructions. Use this to remove it from the starter generator. Wrap the starter generator in plastic and tape it up. 
It must be completely sealed, otherwise drill shavings can cause premature wear.